Hey guys, just a bit of a YouTube update. We've spent a couple of years posting relevant video responses on lots of our videos on Japan channel and on this channel, but mostly on the Japan channel. Hundreds and hundreds of video responses where we've made a video and then that's produced more questions from people. So we've made another video in response to it and put it in the video responses below the video. So those of you who aren't real familiar about this is below this video, there'd be any comments that we've made, first of all, um, plus the top comments from people who've had comments thumbed up. And then below that, usually it says video responses. And there's usually space there for two videos. And we've used that quite a lot on the Japan channel. So that, you know, if we make a video and we get lots of questions, the same question, you know, 300 people ask the same question. We go, oh, okay, should have covered that. Make another video and put it in the video responses. And then we can just say to people, oh, we covered that in the video responses. So we've spent a lot of time doing that over the last couple of years, hundreds of them. And a lot of our videos that are similar topics or linked topics are all linked together via this web of video responses, you know, which we found to be very effective. Um, we also know that there's some other channels that do things like there's a, a very cool dude on YouTube. You know who you are, 64, who uh, makes video, uh, encourages video responses so that he, he does like tricks or he does something and then says to everybody, hey, do a video response of you doing this. So it's a really good interactive. So we've used it f to use to connect our own videos together, but a lot of other channels have used it to interact with their viewers. So they do something and the viewers make a video response to it and, you know, it gets everybody responding to each other and, and helps viewers interact with each other, um, which is really good. It's, it's, it's actually been a wonderful thing to have, but YouTube's decided or Google has decided that YouTube doesn't make enough money out of video responses to make them worthwhile. And so they're canning them. So probably by the time you see this video, there'll be no more video responses anymore. So they've canned them. And... I've noticed the last week too that when people leave a, a comment response, so someone makes a comment, I really like this video, and another person responds to their comment, you know, replies to their comment. So normally if the first guy, Mr. ABC, leaves a comment, you know, Mr. ABC says, I really like this video, and then, and then so if someone, Jane, replies to his comment, it'll say, at ABC, and then nothing, no, no, no. So you can see that that person's who that person is responding to, who that person is replying to. Uh, notice the last week or so that's been failing often. So quite often people are responding to each other. Uh, you know, so what been what's been a bit difficult about it is people have been calling each other names. You're an asshole, mate. But it doesn't show who they're responding to, so it looks like they're talking to us. <laughs> so who's this prick? So that's been playing up as well the last week or so. So it's either because, and, and also in our, when we're checking our uh, comments too, usually we see, you know, 300 comments, we can go through them on the comment, on our comment page of our, of our, uh, what do you call it, of our uh, channel has a comment page, we can go through all the comments, and that's been playing up recently too. So we're guessing what usually happens when you notice different parts of YouTube are breaking, it's usually because they're messing with them. So I think what you're going to find is that you're going to find that the video responses are going to disappear. We're not going to have them anymore. Too bad. All that time that we've put into using them and connecting them up and all the rest of it. This is, this is a frustrating thing about YouTube is they give us these features and we use them. And we've had a lot of this over the years, you know, where, where, where there's a feature that we use and we, we use it to, to, to do worthwhile stuff. We spend a lot of time doing it and they can it and it just disappears. And all the time we've spent, you know, basing all our, our stuff based on that piece of technology, all of a sudden it, it disappears. So it's big steps backwards they frequently make, you know, where there's some useful thing and they just can it. So we're expecting that what's gonna happen is the video responses are gonna disappear if they haven't already, and then the comment section's probably gonna change. It looks like they're messing with it, which is why it's playing up at the moment because they're experimenting with it. So expect some backward steps down there as well. So it's just a bit of a heads up. Basically, to all those videos where we've, where we've said there's something in the video responses about this or all the comments where we've said there's something in the video response, well, there's not going to be any more. So we're going to have a lot of people saying, oh, there's no video response. Where is it? And yes, we know. <laughs> 
to those hundreds of people who are going to be saying that to us, yes, we know, we know, it wasn't our doing. It was bloody YouTube again. You know, again, they sit around their tables and have their meetings and try to find ways of cutting corners and increasing revenue. And they, they just don't care anymore. You know, all they want is money. And the, the, the keeping one eye on the quality or the, you know, the, the, the what we can do or what we can't do, they just don't give a rats. You know, they don't talk to us anymore. A couple of years ago, you know, we used to be able to send, send emails to customer support or uh, partner support, you know, and we get answers from individuals. You know, there used to be a guy who worked in there from, from Oregon in, in America and, you know, he and I used to exchange emails and sort of I knew a bit about him, he knew a bit about me and now there's just nothing. You know, we don't even get responses. Partners don't get responses anymore if we send emails. Partners in Japan don't. We just don't get a response. Send so a response, can you please help me with this? And you just don't get an answer. So they don't care. It's all about making money. When they have their meetings now, you know, it's all Google thinking, right? So they sit there and they say, how can we increase revenue from this? And, you know, is, is the video, are the video responses bringing in enough revenue? No, they're not. Okay, piss them off. They're not worth it. Move on. Let's do something else, you know? And, and, and it seems to be more and more about what they want us to watch. You know, with those new channel designs, aren't they a piece of crap? Um, but with the new channel designs down the, down the right hand side of the page, you'll notice that the default is all the, all the front page millionaire YouTubers, all the YouTubers that are earning, you know, a million dollars plus a year. And they are, and they are, you know, those front page YouTubers are earning more than a million dollars a year each. You can Google this yourself. Um, and the, the, the default recommended channels next to our channel pages now, the default recommended channels are all those millionaire YouTubers. So that's, that's really ideally what they want. They want, they want a hundred or, you know, less really popular channels on YouTube where they're making millions of dollars a year. And the rest of us are just sort of like annoying, you know, they don't really want to know about the rest of us because we're just fluff. You know, it's, it, it makes sense from a business point of view. It makes a lot of sense. You know, if they've got a hundred or less big channels that they can deal with and make, you know, millions of dollars off each one, uh, it's much easier, isn't it? Than dealing with a million little ants like us, you know, where they've got to be answering our stupid emails and stuff. It's better just to ignore us and focus on those big guys. So fortunately on your channel page, you do have an option of turning that off, that recommended channel thing. Now you'll notice on both our channels, we've turned it off because I'm not, there's no way in the world I'm using my channel page. The old channel design was our channel page was our channel page. YouTube could, couldn't put any crap on it at all. It was just our channel page had our stuff on it 100%. And of course they didn't like that, did they? So they've changed that. So we, our channel page isn't really our channel page anymore. It's half a... Half the pages we have some control over and the rest of it, they decide what goes on there. And it's all heavily promoting the millionaire, the millionaire YouTubers. Now, this isn't jealousy. To those people who make a million dollars a year or more making YouTube videos, good on them. And I wish I was one too, you know. <laughs> I would quite happily accept a million dollars a year for making YouTube videos, quite happily. Um, it's not going to happen because my videos are based in Japan and Australia. So channels in Japan and Australia don't make millions of dollars a year. It's just not the way it works. Um, actually, that's another interesting thing. Those of you aren't aware of this, go down the bottom of the page, look for the, look for the uh, location setting. And so you can change the location setting of what you, of the content that you're looking at. So if you go to a page that has lots of videos on it, just go down the bottom and it says language setting. Don't touch that. And it, w it has a uh, location setting and it has worldwide is the default. So you're seeing videos from all over the world. But click on that and you'll see all the countries, all the countries, about, I don't know how many, a hundred countries maybe, that you can choose from. So that if you're in Japan, you just want to see videos from Japan, you can click the Japan setting, you'll only see videos from Japan um, or you know whatever other country you're in. Except, have a look and see if you can see USA. There's no USA. No USA to choose from. And why is that? It's because the USA is the default setting for worldwide which is why we recently had a karate video uh, of a girl doing karate kata and it had half a million views in two days. 
And if you looked at the sports page on the front page of YouTube, if you looked under the sports category, it wasn't there um, in the worldwide setting. It wasn't there, but there was videos from America with 8,000 views. We had 500,000 views on our video. Um, and then under the worldwide setting, which is supposed to include the whole world, um, there was videos on there from America with 8,000 views that were there, and our video with 500,000 views wasn't. And it's because channels that are, that are in America are automatically into the worldwide setting, um, and channels that are not in America are not included in the worldwide setting unless they go super, super, mega viral. And so they just don't make it, basically. So the bottom line is if you want a successful YouTube channel, if you ever want to be a millionaire YouTuber, tell me, from, tell them when, you, when you set up your channel, say that you're in America. Because if you say you're in Japan or Australia or some other insignificant country like we live in, um, you'll, you'll never make it to the front page. It just won't happen. There's one girl from Australia, uh, Natalie somebody, Natalie Tran, um, who made it on YouTube and who's successful on YouTube. She's from Australia. <clears throat> she made it one person, one person. And you can see for yourself, you know, look at the front page YouTubers, all the millionaire YouTubers, you know, less than 5% of the world are American um, and YouTube's an international audience, you know, um, less than 5% of the world are American and yet most of the front page. This isn't, this isn't bitching, it's just an observation. It's just an observation about the way the system works. It, it's, it's an observation about the inequity in the system. Um, you know, and there's always someone, anytime we say anything like this, there's always someone that says, yeah, but YouTube's an American company. Yes, um, but YouTube's also relying on the international audience. YouTube and Google don't just want the 5% of the people who are American. They want the whole world to watch and they want to make revenue from the whole world. Um, but they're not treating the whole world with, 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 with equal fairness, unfortunately. So the bottom line to that one, guys, is if you ever want to be a millionaire YouTuber, uh, when you set your channel up, make sure you, you tell them that you're in America, even if you're not. Because if you, if you tell them you're not in America, you'll never, you'll never make it. For that reason, because when your videos, when you make a video and release it, so when, when we make a video on our Japan channel that's popular, uh, it makes it onto the front page of, of YouTube Japan. But people outside Japan just don't get to see it unless they're a subscriber or unless they stumble across it through some other means, but but we just don't make it to the front page, but the ones with 8,000 views do. So it sucks, it really does suck. You know, that was really bad. I watched that video go super serious here, and then just didn't even get, you know, 500,000 views, didn't make the front page, but videos about some guy hitting a, getting hit with a baseball in the nuts, got 8,000 8, views and was on the front page, you know? Just, <laughs> so yes, it's the continual uh, downward spiral that is that is YouTube and Google. We live in hope that some someday somebody will start a comp competitor. I mean, there is some others. We've got videos on Blip TV as well. We keep one foot in the door with our Blip TV channel just in case YouTube ever falls over, because it might. If Google ever decide they're not making enough money from it, they might close it down and walk away they could do so that's why we keep one foot in the door at blip we also don't trust youtube they youtube don't tend to support people real well if they have any problems with their channels or anything else so we just don't trust them so we keep one foot in the door at blip so if ever we have a, a major issue with with youtube we'll switch over to blip blip tv instead but um of course they're not really a viable alternative yet because they just don't have the viewership so it's pretty hard. That's the same as with all Google products and all Google sites, isn't it? You know, it's very hard for anyone else to compete with them because they've just got these huge, not monopolies, but almost, haven't they? They sort of dominate. They really dominate, which, which, which makes them so arrogant. That's why they don't return our emails. They don't care. You know, we get, our Japan channel gets 2 million views a month, you know, and they don't care. Two million a month, that's nothing. I don't care. You know, they've got the front page YouTubers get two million views a, a, a video, you know. So our two million views a month is just, you know, peanuts to them. They don't care. Don't even bother answering us. Um, main reason is YouTube Japan used to have English speaking staff in there and YouTube decided that they didn't want, didn't need them anymore. 
so they, they sent them away. The guy that used the guy the guy from Oregon used to look after us in Tokyo. Now looks after uh, Australia apparently. Um, probably still from the Tokyo office. I don't know, but but yeah, he now looks after the Australian uh, partners, and and there's nobody looks after the English speaking Japanese ones. So. Uh, anyway, that's just what they're doing. But as far as you guys are concerned, yeah, if if like, yeah, if you wanted to make a million dollars out of YouTube, <laughs> that was the tip. Tell me from America. Tell them you're in America. Um, but yeah, as for the rest of it, yeah, video responses. Sorry about that. Um, you know, we had no idea. They don't tell us. You know, we 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 assume when there's a feature that we can use that the feature will be there forever. So we try and take advantage of it and use it as best we can so that everybody can get benefit from it. But then when they suddenly cancel that feature, it leaves us a bit sort of screwed up, really, because you know, we know what's going to happen now. We're going to get hundreds of comments on videos where we've said there's something in the video responses and everybody's going to be saying, where is it? I can't find it. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it disappeared, didn't it? Happens every time they disappear a feature, everybody asks us where it went. Oh, it wasn't us. <laughs> um, with our Japan channel guys please try and leave your annotations turned on you can turn them on and off down here somewhere um, with our videos please leave them on because what we do is for the, for now we've got annotations we can put links on the annotations until they cancel that too but that's how we get around this at the moment is that we'll keep using those annotations to link to other videos so. anyway <laughs> anyway that was a bit of a rant wasn't it more videos coming soon. <laughs>